What's going on, guys? Welcome to the channel. Thanks for watching. My name is Spencer. You're at the Top Line Racer channel. Uh, starting out the vlog today outside where it's still rainy and wet, and it's going to be for a while. So, yes, the uh, car is all dirty as can be. I'm not going to wash it because there's no reason to because um, I guess April showers or something out there. So um, it is a little bit nicer out, though. It's like 50 degrees today. So um, can't complain about that. It feels like spring might actually be coming finally, um, even though literally this day last week we had 12 or 13 inches of snow on the ground. Um, today is going to be sort of interesting. Um, I'm going to try out a headlight restoration kit for the Chrysler. Um and uh, hopefully it's like even an instructional video a little bit for you. Um, but I've not really ever done it with one of the professional kits before. I had one that was a turtle wax or something like that. But either way, let's go to Walmart. Let's go pick up this headlight restoration kit and then see how it works. Uh, I'm cleaning up the headlights of the 300. <laughs> We made it to Walmart. Here's the uh, headlights, which I did clean these up a little bit. Like I said, I'll talk a little bit more about that later. We're gonna need to do the fog lights too. They're really, they're really bad. So, all right, let's go see what options we got in here. This is the one I got before, and it was terrible. So I don't think that's the one we want. Um, don't recommend that one. It comes with these really stupid little uh, sanding pads, and they just you can't, you just can't use them. Um, hmm. All right, so I think we're gonna go with this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. All right, just got out back to the car from inside Walmart, and uh, it's like even wetter than what I showed you earlier. It was actually starting to dry on the way here. I was excited I was, that maybe we'd get to do some uh, zero to 60 runs with that app, because I tried it when it was still wet yesterday, and uh, my zero to 60 was 6.7, which is not very good. I get that, but it's probably a lot more realistic because it was still very, very wet. I spun the whole way pretty much. Um, so that I'm excited to try it and see if we can get an accurate time out of that app. I'm not really holding any on to any hope, but at least it's something fun to do. Um, but for right now, I'll see you guys back at the garage. All right. We are back at home on the Cadillac couch, which I'm really looking smart now for putting together because... It's like my my work seat now to uh, shine these headlights up. Let's see what's in this box. All right, some of the polish, I guess, for the lights. Yeah, and that's a buffing pad thing that goes on the drill. Um, all right, that's a sanding pad. Okay. So we got some extra sanding pads, we got a polishing pad. So, and the instructions, it only has three instructions, which is my type of thing, um, which is prep, polish, and shine. So we're starting out by, I guess, putting this guy in. And then attaching that guy. And I'm sort of surprised that we're starting with this one because I thought this was like a polisher one, but um, it says not. It says that this is the one we do. And then we put a nickel-sized amount of the polish here. Okay, I'd say it's about a nickel, give or take. Um, and then we um, start drill motor slowly to avoid slinging polish as needed. Polish in small areas until the entire lens is clean and clear using back and forth motions. So... Um, you only use this at first if this doesn't take care of it, then we use the sanding pads for the severe stuff. So, um, I guess I'll try these first. I think it's going to probably take the sanding ones, um, but we'll find out. So there is... What it looks like after just the polishing ball, which is still not great, but it is a little bit better. So, like, let's look at this one over here. So, it's definitely clearer than this one over here, but uh, 
I think we need to do the uh, sanding pads a little bit, so I gotta figure out what the instructions are for that. Okay, so for this step, I just read through all the instructions. We're gonna start out and just go through these different um, sanding pads. Um, we're gonna start with an 800, then go to a 1500, and then go to a, uh, I think this is the 3000. So um, we're gonna spray some liquid on there so it's got good lube. And, uh, and then at the end we will do the polisher again. So um, it's only four steps, including doing that. So it doesn't look like it'll be too bad. Let's see how it goes. So there is after doing um, the more uh, serious headlight restoration in, in the box rather than just the polish like I did the first time. So there is the difference between the headlights now. Now I think I'm going to do the steps for the um, polish one more time for the sanding down. I think I'm just going to go through the whole thing one more time because I think I rushed through it and, uh, and then I'll give you the final final take. All right, guys. So here is the final product. It is not perfect. Hopefully you can see this up close, but um, vastly improved over the original. Um, here is the other one for comparison. So we went from that to that. So the fog lights um, have stress cracks and everything in them. I know that they're not going to, uh, you know, the cracks aren't going to come out, but hopefully we can still get them shined up a little bit. I'm going to start on this, uh, this uh, headlight over here. I'm going to time lapse the rest of it, and maybe I'll check in a couple times, but otherwise um, we'll just go to the end since you already know uh, what the steps are. All right, so something good, but also kind of bad happened. Um, this headlight came out a lot better than the one on the other side. <laughs> um, still not perfect. There's still just a slight haze to them. I don't know if you'll ever get that out without somebody doing it professionally, but um, that's, the, uh, that's the other one there. So a little bit more haze on that one. Now the real test is us doing the uh, the fog lights down here because they are really, really bad. So uh, we'll have to try these out for a little bit. I think they're going to take a lot of sanding. It's a little dark, but this way, hopefully, you can kind of see. Let's see where's the best. So there, you can actually see through and in, to inside the bulb, and uh, the spot that you're seeing right there at the bottom is actually just um, a reflection um, of the light that I'm holding inside the light. So that's actually not uh, anything there. You can see a little bit better. Um, so yeah, here's a comparison to the old one. So there, you really can't see inside of it at all hardly any little bit but uh, definitely a big difference didn't fix the crack so I really just need new fog lights but still a big improvement over what over what it was all right so here is the completed product I actually just moved the car back so that you could actually see it um, but, uh, so the headlights are on for a second. There we go. Okay. So definitely figured out more what I was doing by the time I did that light. Um, obviously that was the first one I did over on the driver's side and that one did not turn out quite as good. So I probably need to do that one one more time. Um, the fog lights both turned out okay. Um, obviously the cracking sucks on them and getting the very outside edges of them was really tough. Um, you'd really have to pop them out of there to uh, get the outside edges the proper way. But uh, 
otherwise, yeah, here, this is, you'll have to ignore the uh, fact that the rest of the front end is dirty. But yeah, this one here could use a little bit more, still has a little bit of a haze to it. Um, that one there, you can really see the outside edges that aren't quite perfect. Um, this one here I did better on, um, but maybe I was just getting tired by the end. So here's kind of my uh, final thoughts um, on the, I actually didn't even know what brand I got, but I got Mother's New Lens, if you didn't see it earlier in the video, Mother's New Lens Headlight Renewal Kit. Um, I think it was 20 bucks. I think it was 1996 or something like that. I already threw the receipt out, but, um, I have bought, like I said, the, um, turtle wax headlight restoration kit that comes with these really tiny little sanding pads that you do by hand. And, um, we wouldn't even be close to being finished with them. Um, probably we would be done with one headlight with those. Um, and they never came out anywhere near, not even as nice as this one, which isn't, uh, perfect like the other one. This one out over on this side came out great at this time. Um, so I would definitely recommend spend the extra money, get a set, even if it's not this one, I assume they're all probably pretty close. Get a set that um, you can stick on your drill and use it that way because it's a lot easier. Um, otherwise, yeah, <laughs> you're going to be really tired by the end of it. Um, I wish it came with more sanding pads. It only comes with uh, two of each and only one of the 3000 grit. Um, and I could tell a definite difference even after doing one headlight with them. Um, so definitely should come with more of those, but ultimately I'm pretty happy. It's a lot better than spending the money for new headlights. It's not terribly difficult. Uh, super easy for anybody to do. I think, um, the things I learned by the time I got to this second headlight over here is I want to, I want to say you should take at least three to five minutes, um, probably per step. And the first step, um, because I assume if you're buying this set, I think it's stupid that the outside of the box says the steps just for the polishing. Where is it at here? That just, just for the polishing one. Because no one who's buying this set is going to be just polishing their headlights. I don't think. Um, they're going to be like doing the, re you know, the whole restoring procedure that I just did um, and using the sanding pads and everything. Um, so yeah, take three to five minutes, especially that first step is what I found that I think is the difference um, with the 800 grit. Take your time with that one. Uh, make sure you got a nice even haze over the whole thing. And then probably take three minutes or so on each step. Um, also wipe off and clean it several times even during each step. You'll see it starts getting a little bit dry. Just wipe it off, spray some more water on and go again. Um, otherwise, the only thing I did different than, with the steps is I just put a little bit of coat of wax on them at the end, which helped I think to make them shine a little bit better. Maybe it didn't do anything. Probably the polish was just fine. Um, so I would give this for 20 bucks, probably an A+. Um, there might be better kits out there, um, but this is the only one I've really used other than the Sucky Turtle Wax one. So don't buy that one for the $10 it is versus the 20 for this. This is, this is so much better. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope that uh, was a little bit informative for you. I figure there's probably a lot of people out there with older cars who could use a little bit of help um, from a first timer here. So if you, if there's somebody out there who's much better at it, follow them. Don't follow me. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. Please subscribe and like. Thanks, guys. The sun is out. I never thought I would see the sun again.